Back at it again, good to see my friend. If you don't know, now I know this. Hayes, Hayes sounds what he called me. Let's get straight into it. Deanna Ross speaks candidly about Michael Jackson and their, and their relationship. Let's go. Oh my. Among Diana Ross fans and Michael Jackson fans, there are some people who theorize that he was, that your mom was actually kind of in a, in a way the love of his life. Have you ever heard that? Yeah, I mean, I heard it, yeah. And do you have any thoughts on that? Wait, wait, hold on, wait, 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 hold on, wait, hold on. Wait, dude from ATL? That's your mom? Get out of here. I did not know that. The more you know. Keep it going. Um, so many people are now claiming that they discovered the Jacksons, you know, and mm. so on. But what was your relationship? Well, with? actually, I did. I think Barry Gordy discovered them at a, a step. Uh, the boys were came to Detroit for a showcase for Barry Gordy, and I remember them wearing these little green outfits and these hats, and they did a show, and we knew then that it was going to be something special. When he started his career, I introduced them on their very first television show, which was the Ed Sullivan Show. And uh, I got an opportunity to introduce them on the that's Ed Sullivan Show. That's a bad fit. Show. Like, that's fit, fit. And the I rest hold is it. just history. And then I had a tel my own television special at that time, and I introduced them, the Jackson 5, on the television special. I think I gave them an opportunity on my television special like, to be introduced for the first to the American audience. And they were really young then. You certainly have that. Uh added a fantastic group to the musical scene as a talent scout. Well, if you're speaking about the Jackson 5, and I, am. I don't feel that I've, you know, added them. I think I just opened the door for them. And instead of them walking in, they ran in and trampled me as they were coming through the door. <laughs> we did a television special and so on, and I played. What does that mean? <laughs> Keep it going. With Michael. I wasn't introducing you, Michael. You were? No. Well, who else do you think makes the stage come to real life besides me and Ed Sullivan? <laughs> and they came to live with me in California for, um, it seemed like uh, uh, just a few months, but I don't know how long it was there. They were moving from uh, Wait, what? their home into California, so they stayed with me for a while. And Michael's very creative. And we kind of, I took a special interest in him, and we were very close. What did, how did you feel when you heard you got the part in The Wiz? And especially playing with Diana Ross. Very happy. I love the play so much. I've seen it six times before I even knew I was going to be in it. I would talk to Diana on the phone. I'd say, you're going to film The Wiz next week, huh? She would say, yeah, next thing I noticed, I was in it. Diana and Michael had had a relationship in the past from their Motown days, and it, it shows in the film the kind of warmth and friendship between the two, it which do. was very important to the relationship between Dorothy and the Scarecrow. His energy and my energy were very much the same. He was a little kid that uh, worked very hard and loved to stand up in front of someone and perform. Yes, and I was uh, fairly successful at that moment. And uh, again, it's just the same as, as the Supremes. Michael Jackson began to be the focal point because he was so outstanding. We did a movie together, and since then, I mean, he's just had blockbuster success with his album Off the Wall. Ladies and gentlemen, my baby. Do you plan my to come out with Michael Jackson soon? Oh, Tanya, I would like that a lot. Mm -hmm. um, Michael and I, you know, have been friends since he was really little kid and uh he's doing such extraordinary things writing he right now he's doing an album or writing a song with paul mccartney and uh he's supposed to be coming in town soon and i would like that the love songs of michael jackson and diana ross 
16 classic songs of love that will last forever from two of the world's greatest artists. Diana Ross and Michael Jackson. Love songs. It's too good to imitate. From Telstar. Now, who, who was being messy and did that? Someone was being messy and, and put that together. I... We've shared many magic moments together. The early days and television specials, recording, and doing the movie The Wiz. Well, you know, Michael's all, he's an exceptional human being, talented beyond his years. A dream in motion. To me, Michael is brilliant, and he's just as a little boy growing into his right. talent. If he's grown from where it's starting to being a big success Wait. now, where will he be, you know, Great. in the future? Then he went on to uh, have his own career, of which he's very, very talented, and, uh, and he became so very, very successful, just like skyrocketed. One of my favorite people in the whole entire world is Diana Ross. She's good. Can you see that? Hold on, we, we gotta run it back. We gotta run it back. We gotta run it back. Hold on. It's like Skyrim. Like how Mike got the Mike. I don't know. How, yo, shout out to his hairstylist. Uh, also, I want that glove. Like my next, my next goal. I gotta get that glove, bro. I gotta get that glove. Like, like for real. And one of my favorite people in the whole entire world is Diana Ross. She's been so special to me and has taught me so many incredible, important things. And uh, I'm just so honored. Diana Ross and Michael Jackson, and it's nice to have you both here tonight. Is he your escort tonight? Absolutely. Oh, this so is my dad. Look. <laughs> what I didn't know is that you were going to get so sexy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. What? Be sexy. <laughs> Don't you, do you guys think she's sexy? I knew I Smart. Smart. Michael was smart. Because. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, we're playing again. I just want to play, play it again real quick for me. Hold on. My dad, look. <laughs> what I didn't know is that you were going to get so sexy. <laughs> You're embarrassing me. <laughs> well, I always knew you would. What? Be sexy. <laughs> Don't you, do you guys think she's sexy? Michael, you, you slime. See, this ain't Mike's first rodeo. So, so yeah. yeah. Mike, first of all, Mike, Mike was looking at her like he was trying to f do some laundry and fold some, or, <laughs> like, <laughs> but he was smart because he could have let her stay in that because Deanna looked a little flustered. I ain't going to hold you. Mike was smart. He said, you know what? Let me put her in the crowd. Crowd. Ain't she sexy? Like, you, Mike, you, you sly dog, bro. You, you a smooth criminal, boy. You a smooth criminal. You the smooth criminal ball. You the smooth criminal ball. Okay, okay. I see you. I... Game recognized game. My new album. Uh, some superstars playing on that. Michael Jackson, of course. Uh, yes. The BGS. How did this collaboration come about? Okay, well, I'm, you know, Michael and I we're in love, and there's nothing to do about <laughs> it. There's nothing to say. So When he spent time with Diana Ross with The Wiz, he always had this admiration for Diana Ross when she was young. And um, and I think it got to a point where he really loved her and he really liked her, still to this day. And she was just this, this dream for him. And he had this ongoing, just a fascination for her. He loved her. Are you ever sensitive to like the people speaking on Michael Jackson and or his relationship with your mom? Because I know like a lot of people thought I mean, we knew he was, she was like a mother figure to him, but people also thought like he loved her. I, I think so. I think it was, I think it was a lot of things. I think he did. I knew he, I know he loves her, loved her. And I think he also uh, maybe was in some sort of way. I, my mom always says, no, it wasn't. But, you know, I feel like, I feel like he, I feel like he was, you know, there was so much about my mother he loved, you know. And I think some of the, you know, what he had told me was a lot of the most amazing times he spent 
uh, as a child was always with my mother. In a way, she was his show business mother. Um, and she seemed to have a real soft spot in her heart for him. We have Michael Jackson somewhere out there. Is he out there? Where is he? There he is. That's my child. Hey. <laughs> That's Michael. <laughs> and then I kind of... What is, wait, what is Michael... Hold on. Whatever, 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 whatever. Hold on. Hey, That's my child. Hey. <laughs> That's Michael. <laughs> I could do is just chilling with the Golden Girls. Like, what's happening? <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. Your word is true. You're a pal and a confidant. Doom, doom, doom. And if you threw a party and invited everyone you knew, it would be the very gift you give to me. And the call that thank you for being a fan. Woo! Oh, Lord Hammer. Okay. Well, man, I'm sorry. I had to get that off. I had to get that off. All right, let's go. Stand up like when your mom, like, yeah, look at the <laughs> Your mom be pointing you out at church. Like, yo, sit up, son. <laughs> like, mom, like, uh. I kind of took care of them until their parents came. So we just built a relationship in the early days. Like a parent, and I feel like that. Since uh, the beginning of their careers, I feel very much as if they are my children. What did you think? He you was know? in love with Diana Ross, and that was real. But he wanted to be Diana Ross. <laughs> very true. Great talent wasn't all Jackson and Ross shared. Michael, many believe, wanted to look like her, be like her sound like her. There are rumors that he, he changed his looks to look like you. It's been said that Michael Jackson underwent plastic surgery to make himself look more like you. I'm not like other guys. Because he's had it all done. <laughs> I you take that as you a compliment? You cannot. I refuse. And, you know, we were thinking also tonight, I mean, this kid has grown up in the business since tiny. I mean, you know, I think uh, it's hard to have a real normal life, you know, and he's secluded and he, it's, it, I think he is very secure and very, uh, he's got it all together being in the kind of position that he is. Does it and break your heart need, to see what's yes, happening? Yes, all the support. I saw the family on television the other night, and I sat it. there, and I, yeah. I've just felt the pain, mm -hmm. you know. And I know they're trying very hard to pull together, and uh, it's just, uh, it's a, a family in trouble, and they need our prayers, you know, for the right. Me, I'm, uh, Dan, I'm like she got younger in the '90s. Like, what's going on? I'm like she got younger. Okay. Thing to happen, you yeah. know, really. I don't know anything about what's going on. Diana hasn't seen Michael since he was hospitalized in New York last month, but she hopes his split with his wife, Lisa Marie Presley, is not permanent. I'd like to see uh, them make it together. I'd like to see them both happy. You're friends with Michael Jackson. How do you think the media has treated him? Do you Please, think I can't go there. No. But, I, you know, I just think, you know, it's it's such a painful subject. It's just so hard. That's as much as Diana Ross oh, like, has ever... No, no, for real, though. Like, like, is it, am I bugging, or is Diana, the older she got, the younger she looking? Like, am I bugging right now? Am I bugging? not scrutinized, overly scrutinized. Don't you agree? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I understand. Speak up, Diana. God dang. No, yes. Obviously. Nobody has been scrutinized more in the media than Michael Joseph Jackson. Yes. Say yes. I'm trying to ease on down the road with this. Don't you carry nothing that might not be a low. Come on now. We are the world. We are the children. Are you close now? Not as close now. I don't get to see him very much. Um, and that's because, again, my life has just 
gone in a different direction. I live in Europe a lot of the time with my husband, and uh, so it's just that we don't see each other half as much as I would like to see him. Have you been in touch with him personally? Yes, I did. I spoke, I've spoken to him twice. And he's actually. getting the help he needs, you think? I hope so. Yeah. I'm not sure if his... See, I have been away from Michael's life for quite some time, so I don't know all the people that he has surrounding him. Um, and Michael, um, I, have, I don't see these guys that much. I'm so happy to look back and see their faces. Anyway, to me, I don't see him very much. I haven't seen him really. And he, I just saw him a little bit in New York where he's recording his new album, but I don't see him all. On stage, Michael had an emotional reunion with his old friend Diana Ross, and as he left the stage, I met up with him for an exclusive rare interview. Oh, Michael, you get to see Diana again. Congratulations. Nobody loves me like my mother. I love my mama. I love my mama. Lord, know what I do. She ain't sitting on my lap. <laughs> you hear me? You feel me? Okay. Oh my god! No, she meant that. No, she meant that for real. She like she meant that. Congratulations. Hey. I don't know if I can say that. Can I get away with that? Say that. Just saying, a lot of, yeah, a lot of. I can't say that. I don't think I can say that. Let it snow. Let it snow. Like there's a lot of man. What the what the chug? What the chug? <laughs> yeah, I'm <laughs> Hold on, run it back, run it back, run it back. Look at, look at this. What, 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 what was that about? Mm -hmm. Okay. Her public statement uh, since his death, she says, I can't stop crying. I'm unable to imagine this. Of course, one of the week's surprises came when Diana Ross was named in Michael Jackson's will. She may take custody of Jackson's children if his mother is not able to. I'm trying to find closure. What? I did not know that. Wow. True love. That's love. GP. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Amen. I want you to know that even though I am not there at the Staples Center, I am there in my heart. I've decided to pause and be silent. This feels right for me. Michael was a personal love of mine, a treasured part of my world, part of the fabric of my life in a way that I can't seem to find words to express. Michael wanted me to be there for his children and I will be there if they ever need me. I hope today brings closure for all those who loved him.
think they loved each other very much as good friends. And I think that they inspired each other. There was such a great friendship there that I think people may have felt like it was something more than that. But I think, truthfully, it was just a really close friendship. You just could never get enough of you and Michael Jackson and Wiz and your exuberance, your, your, your figure. Stop in the name of love. That's the message from Diana Ross in a tweet defending her lifelong friend Michael Jackson. Over the weekend, Ross tweeted, This is what's on my mind this morning. I believe and trust that Michael Jackson was and is a magnificent, incredible force to me and to many others. She ended the tweet with a reference to her hit song, Stop in the Name of Love. He's fine. There you have it. Diana, Mako, Mako, Diana. A real love story. But with that being said, like, comment, subscribe, share all the things or the things. Ain't got to go home. Do got to get to stepping. Peace. And I'll